Got a bit more snow last night. Oh, just nice and peaceful here at our home. It is not nice and peaceful everywhere right now, though. And I think we have a few things that I really have on my heart to chat with you all about today. Welcome back to White Pine Homestead. If you are new to our channel, our channel is about uh, our journey to being becoming more self-sufficient, our frugal lifestyle, and the things we do inside and outside of the house to accomplish those things. But today I wanted to kind of delve a little bit deeper, <clears throat> excuse me, on a subject that I feel is extremely important. Um, as you saw by the title, it says, are you prepared? Am I prepared? There are some scary things going on in our world right now. There are always scary things going on in our world right now, but they just seem a bit more in our face at the moment. I think it is extremely wise, extremely important for us to be wise stewards with uh, the gifts that we're given by God. I'm a born again Christian and I fully believe everything I have is, is by his gifting to, to me and my family. And we need to be using that in a way that serves him. Do I think we have to be good stewards and care for our family? Yes. Do we need to be caring for others, believers and non-believers? Yes. I believe that God will lead us to do that in the way that he feels uh, in each one of our lives. So do we need our homes prepared? Absolutely. Do we need to be prepared to uh, care for others in the way that God shows us to do so? Absolutely. But what I want to uh, throw out there that I think is even more important is that we are prepared spiritually. Um, like I said, I'm a born again Christian. I'm a follower of Jesus. And I feel that we need to be in our Bibles and in prayer more than anything right now. If you have a favorite show that you watch every week, maybe turn that off. Maybe take the time to uh, spend in, in the word and just communing with Christ. And I have found, especially when there are times of uh, struggle in our lives, that I talk with him more and more and more. And so these struggles are brought to our lives or we are allowed to be a part of them for a reason. When we lost our daughter four years ago, I talked to God more than I ever had. And through that struggle and the blessings that we saw through that and the perfect time that we had with her, I was able to grow in him. Now I've had times that I've, <clears throat> excuse me, this morning my, my throat's got a little frog in my throat this morning. I've struggled with that from time to time since then. We're always growing, but if we just commune with him, then, then that is the best thing. And I really believe that right now our spiritual preparedness is the most important important thing as we go forward and if you don't know Jesus he loves you and he's just waiting for you to know more about him and if you're interested in 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 having uh, information sent to you or if you don't have a Bible and you'd like one please feel free to email or write to us at the address below and I would personally send you a Bible and information and correspond with you because he loves you and he wants to know you more intimately. He wants you to know him more intimately. And all I can say is I've lived on both sides of that track. And having him as my Lord and Savior is so much better than anything I was doing on my own. So, are you prepared spiritually? That's more of my question today. Are you prepared spiritually? Because if you aren't, please come and know Jesus. And... He loves you. And, and we if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you choose to live your life for him, you will find 
such an amazing transformation in your life every day. I had a completely different video planned for today. You guys will be getting that next week. But this was so much on my heart, so important, and I felt that I needed to share it because my household, want we want to live for Christ uh, more than anything else in our lives. And I wanted you to, to hopefully... I'm hoping you want to do the same thing. And if you're struggling in any way, like I said, look to him. Whether you're a believer or a non-believer, if you're struggling, look to him. He, he will guide you in every single way. Uh, we need to be praying. We need to be praying for the uh, people in Ukraine, believers and non-believers. We need to be playing, praying for the people in Russia, believers and non-believers. We need to be praying for the people in our government that are making choices we need to be covering everyone in prayer right now. So I hope that you are willing and wanting to join to uh, do that with me and my family uh, and that the brothers and sisters in Christ that are watching this just are in the same place that we are and understanding that this is something that we need to be doing. And like I said, if you are not, Jesus is just waiting for you to come to him with open arms. He's there. Okay, everyone, we hope you are doing well. God bless. We're praying for you, and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye.